What's up guys, Technology for All here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Corsair Gaming Sabre RGB Gaming Mouse. So I've been in the market for a new mouse recently, and that's because I've kind of, I've gotten tired of this mouse, which is the Cooler Master uh, Storm mouse that comes with the keyboard mouse combo type of thing. Um, I've had this for a while already, but you know, I've gotten tired of it recently because the middle mouse button broke, um, the squeaky noise is annoying. And overall, it's just, it feels like it lost its quality for, you know, over time. And obviously, you get what you paid for because you get this mouse and the keyboard uh, in the, I forgot what the keyboard is called officially, the whole name, but it's a keyboard mouse combo. I think it's like about 30 bucks, something like that. It's pretty cheap. It's a bargain. But again, you get what you paid for, so you don't really get a super high quality mouse or keyboard. I mean, they're okay to start off with, you know, if you're starting gaming PC or, or gaming on a PC or you made a... You made a new gaming PC and you just want a cheap but okay keyboard and mouse that looks gaming. You know, the bundle's pretty nice. But, you know, I just got tired of this mouse. So, again, Corsair, Sabre, RGB. I know it says Corsair Gaming. I'm just going to call them Corsair because that's just how I know them as. On the top right, it says 100 grams, lightweight, 10K DPI, 16.8 million colors, customizable backlighting, which is interesting. And then over here just says basically the same thing on top except with longer sentences so lightweight with superior accuracy for fast gameplay 10,000 dpi optical sensor and multicolor dpi indicator and that's how the mouse looks like and it says gaming mouse down there all right on the right you get package contents which is obviously the mouse and the quick start guide and the system requirement which is basically have a usb port have it updated windows and that's basically it the only reason why they ask you to go on those windows versions is because of the software that you can optionally use but it's recommended to use to do all the customizations on the mouse on the back you have way more details you have the picture of the mouse and descriptions of what is on the mouse so eight programmable buttons rated easy flex cable armron switches rated for 20 million clicks 1000 hertz usb refresh rate comfortable claw grip design multicolor dpi indicator and that's pretty much it so it just gives you a whole overall description of the mouse which is pretty nice it's a good looking box by the way and over here it's just the same description as in the front except just with it looks like a little bit more detail, but not really. But down here is kind of new. It just says Corsair Utility Engine or Q software for powerful performance tuning and customization. That's basically their software that you can use to customize this. Anyway, so this actually opens up, which is pretty nice. And I like this because I got to put my hand here and, you know, get get a, a little bit of the feel of the mouse. And it felt comfortable to me. So that's pretty nice how they let you do that. It's a preview of the mouse. And you can also just put your hand on here if you wanted to. Or if you can, unless you have really big hands. I have kind of medium-sized hands, I guess. And then in here, it's kind of like a book. You got the picture of the mouse right here. You got more pictures of the mouse right here and then more of a description of the mouse as well. So four zones, 16.8 million color backlighting. Enjoy virtually infinite customization. So basically it just shows you all the LEDs that are on this mouse. It's pretty nice looking, honestly. So yeah, that's the book. <laughs> oh, on the bottom, there's not really much either. It's just, you know, those generic icons saying, hey, this is approved and copyright and blah 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 anyway so let's go ahead and open this box let me get this knife over here this did this did can come in is what i'm trying to say in an amazon box so i'd have to use my knife i guess we're going to use it again let's slide this out nothing more in there except the little portion of the book i like how it's magnetic too so here's the mouse let's see how do i that. This is the wiring. Let's see. How is this? I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm probably just going to wreck this box, honestly. There we go. There's the mouse. Finally. Because I'm so dumb at unboxing things, apparently. And then you got your documentation here. Warranty guide. Quick start guide. That's basically it. So, move these things out of the way. And get the box again and get the mouse. So here is the mouse itself. Looks pretty nice. You got that matte black finish. Ooh. Oh, the quality is really nice on the you know left and right click. It's really nice right here. And then right here is more of a feels like the same texture as above here, but a little bit more. I don't know how to describe it. If I use the word plasticky, that sounds wrong, but that's kind of how it feels, but like in a good way, I guess. Like sturdy, I guess, you know? This is very lightweight, by the way. Very. Like, it just feels like I'm lifting a piece of, a big piece of paper or something. This is really lightweight, so. 
So if you need something that's a little bit more heavy or you're a heavy type of person, this is definitely not going to be the mouse for you. This is super light. I think it's even... Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely lighter than this. Definitely, by far. Very light. So this is the USB cable right here. Really, really nice design for a USB cable that you'll probably never stare at. But, see, I like little details like this. You know, like little details like this, even though you won't probably ever see them. You know, it's just, it's nice. I like that. It's the braided cable. Like that, all black, of course, so that's good. Of course, our icon, which lights up. Your DPI button, middle mouse button, and scroll wheel, which does have rubber on it, so it'll grip you. Uh, you got one, two. Okay, so two clicks over here. Clicks. Buttons, <laughs> I meant to say. And then two buttons here as well. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically eight, but that's a DPI button. So seven, eight buttons, whatever you want to call it. And then on the back here, or on the bottom, you got feet, of course, and glossy finish down here, which I don't know why they put a glossy finish down here when you're never going to see it, but eh. And this is where LEDs, LEDs also come out of right here. That's the optical sensor. And yeah, pretty nice mouse overall. It feels really nice. Let me put it on my mouse pad. Yep. Oh, dude, this feels really nice. Wow, this feels way better than this one. If you compare, if you compare the sizes, I mean, they kind of both look. No, they don't. <laughs> I was being stupid. I don't know. I don't know why I was about to say. Oh, they look both the same in size. When they don't, it's totally different. This one's a bit fatter. This one's a bit skinnier. So overall, you know, they're both good mouses, but obviously the Corsair one is a way better mouse because of all the features and the feel of it, the light weight of it, the fatness of it. It's just, it's a really, really, really nice mouse compared to this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the Corsair mouse in. And there we have it. Camera really hates the lighting of that. Interesting. I mean, it, it shows the lighting over here and here and over here, like, pretty okay but right here it's like you can barely see the Corsair logo that's really interesting uh, anyway so comparing the lighting of both of them this one pretty freaking bright right here at least compared to this one this one's a little bit dimmer this one's a very bright I mean you can see from the camera yourself uh, and then in terms of the mouse wheel LEDs uh, they kind of look let's see this one again looks a little bit dimmer and this looks like a bit brighter but you know they both kind of seem like the same kind of have the same design as well you know on the mouse wheel you got the little circular led going around the mouse wheel same here you got the led right here as well i already showed you guys down here as well pretty nice mouse pretty nice looking mouse is what i meant to say so yeah that is how the mouse looks like when you first turn it on and you know when you plug it into your usb port all right, so that is it for the Corsair Sabre RGB Gaming Mouse Unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you guys in another video, and I will see you guys next time. Later, guys.